Once we've chopped two is our concern, which means it's time. Radio and TV at the same time. KFM 95.9. KFM 95.9, home of the Afropolitan. And because we are Afropolitans, we're doing things a little bit differently on the home straight today as it just uh, harks past quarter past six. Now, usually, we talk about football, we talk rugby, we talk cricket, we talk athletics. We do it all. But today, we are talking football, but we're doing it a bit differently because we are joined in studio by the Disky Divas. Welcome. Nonclay. Nonclay, yes. <laughs> Nonclay and Dana joining us in the studio this evening. And let me just say, yes. before the Disky Divas, I recognize her from Sweat. <laughs> you too. Yes. <laughs> also from Fitness There's fanatic. There's also a show called Boot Camp that I saw you on. So I was like, you're this baby. Oh like yes, Cabello's one, right? Yeah, no, I, it's not that one. But um, I'm glad you think I was a fitness fanatic and not a uh, military surgeon. <laughs> 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 a fitness fanatic. Thank you. But it's so great to have you in our studio. That was even more surprising when I saw you just now and I saw that you're pregnant. And congratulations. Thank you. Are you excited to be a mom again? Too much. It feels like the very first time. You know, it's it's different this time around because um, I'm an adult, um, I'm more mature, I know what I want, and it makes the experience totally different mm. because then I was still young, I was dependent on someone, now I'm self-sufficient, it's, it's great, it's a, it's a wonderful feeling, it's, yeah, it's complete happiness again. I can imagine, yeah. I've just had a baby recently, she's six months old. Oh, congratulations. Still fighting, still fighting <laughs> Uh, but you know, what really baby weight? Yeah, what baby? Don't girl, brag. Uh, don't well, brag. She, you bragging now. <laughs> because she's been telling us every day on this show that yeah. she wants to lose weight. She yeah. wants to lose weight. What weight though? Girl, what girl, weight is she wants to After the show, you and I are going to talk about how there's so much weight to lose and what you can do to help me. But you know, one of the things for me when I was pregnant uh, mm. was I had a very difficult pregnancy. And yeah. I feel like I needed my husband a lot more when I was pregnant yeah. than I ever have. You know, I was going through a lot of uh, morning sickness. I was very ill. I needed the the self-esteem boost because self-esteem took a dip. There was a time I when I couldn't you. even turn around. So for you, with your partner being so far away, has it been challenging being pregnant when you are here and he's all the way in a different country? Not at all. Um, mm. It hasn't been challenging at all because uh, fortunately with uh, my previous pregnancy and this one, um, I never experienced morning sickness. I never experienced uh, difficulty. I think on my first trimester, I only experienced tiredness. I was mm. just exhausted, but that's normal and to be expected. But I'm not sick. I'm not um, gaining any weight. Um, I'm getting boobs and I'm loving that oh because gosh, now oh. I have a cleavage. <laughs> <laughs> I have a cleavage now, so I don't need a bra. Oh, uh, I used to struggle and used to have these mosquito bites and they used to <laughs> irritate me. So now I can proudly wear like a v-neck shirts like ladies and show off my cleavage. So for me, it's been a high. It's, it's been a good time being pregnant because my skin is glowing mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just been amazing. The hormones are taking good care of me so yeah it's guy fm 95.9 good music good friends and you're listening to the home straight just gone 20 past six yes it is the home straight if you're not sure which dial you're tuned on it is kai fm 95.9 and this is a sports show and we're talking today to uh, one of the disky divas uh nonte 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 and dala you are pregnant and so just asked you about how difficult it is with your partner being away but in general what is it like to be with someone who's always traveling, even if they're here with you in the same country, they must go to camp. And when they go to camp, they stay in a hotel, you're not allowed to see them. What is that like being being with a footballer? Uh, we make it work. You know, uh, we, uh, I mean, last year, we never a month apart. And wow. I think we don't realize that, but we actually never a month apart. Uh, I was in Belgium now for a month and he's coming here for a month. Um, Oh, during uh, the next season, week. Yes. Yeah, he's coming here for a month. And when he goes back, I go back with him. So oh. there's not a month that we don't see each other. There's never been a month that I haven't seen him in a month. I do miss him, even if it's that two weeks without seeing him. But I, 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 I do miss him because he's my best friend. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, uh, he, he, he's funny. And I miss that. I miss coming home to that, to mm. that crazy person that just tones everything down when you, when you stress from work. And all you need is that, that best friend that's going to make fun of you 
you and that's going to bring you laughter. So it's, it's, it's not as difficult compared to the other, others that don't have the privilege to see their men uh, like I do on mm. a monthly basis because there's not really too much of a gap yeah. um, between us because I travel a lot and he travels to come this side. Fortunately, he plays for the national team. So, so it makes it, yeah. I need to see him. Even if he, he's at camp that time that he has after supper or uh, after dinner, I get to sit in the car. We get to see, sit in the car and spend that one hour. Mm. For me, Just quality chatting, time yeah. means a lot to me. So every moment that we get to be together, we do. Yeah, and uh, I've got another question for you about you know the life, what it's like to be with a footballer. But we're gonna welcome someone else because we've got another guest joining us in studio and she'll walk in, she, she is there. We'll invite her in. Uh, she is uh, walking into studio but struggling to open the Quite door because- Quite a surprise, yeah. Because we got a surprise because we thought we were just gonna have you this evening and then they're like, no, gang, 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 gang. We've got another person for you, so we're very excited. Yeah. To welcome a second guest, we got? Uh, Wendy Parker. Hi, how are you guys? We are well, welcome to the home straight. Welcome to Kai FM. Thanks so much. Mm. And you are also a disky diva. You look like one because I can see a lot of bling on those Listen. nails and mm. <laughs> and, 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 and gold yeah. and silver and shiny. Well, fancy meeting Judge Judy. This non clean studio. Yeah. That's quite amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised you're using the word Judge Judy. I thought all oh, you guys get along in your Oh, no. Nontle seems to tear women down. I'm surprised that she likes to go political because in our country, we actually build women up. We don't go around calling people trash. I would like to actually have a campaign to declare you unworthy. Uh, well, let me, let me interrupt there for a, mem uh, for a minute, do. Wendy. I like your fire. And let's oh, say I'm that feisty. Fire, let, let, let's Some people that refer to me now. as ghetto. Oh, is I that call so? it real. Okay, let's, so, so, so let's, let's stay real for a moment here yeah. uh, on the home straight. You're also married to a football. We've just spoken to Nantle and we'll park your accusations. No, I'm married. I'm sorry. not also sorry, married. Nantle is not married. Oh, okay. You are with a footballer. <laughs> She's still going to get into the game. I've been here for four years okay. already. So you've been here for four years. You can tell us, what is it like to be married to a footballer? Um, especially, yesterday I was at an event uh, held by the South African Football uh, Players Union. And one of the messages that came out is that footballers don't do well in terms of spending their money. They're trying to encourage footballers to be more, more savvy when it comes to financial, uh, because the career is short, you must save for your future. Mm. Uh, and also... One way to save for your future is to make sure that you don't you stick to one partner. That was what came out yesterday. Yeah. What is it like being married to a footballer with all the ladies when you go to training? They're queuing up outside there. For me, it's been beautiful. It's been the ride of my life. It's one of those that I'd never turn back the hands of time in. With regards to finances, I think that's what keeps us so grounded. We live a comfortable life. We don't go around flaunting what we have. We don't go around demeaning anybody because they have less than us. Life is a wheel, it can change tomorrow. We invest a lot, we invest in our kids' education. We're all about reality of life. Bernard's from Recha Park, mm -hmm. I'm from Newlands East. Yeah. Most people might in refer Durban. to that. Yes, okay. of course. <laughs> you know, most people might look down on that, but. For me, being there has made me the person that I am today. I would like to be a role model for the South African young girls. Yeah. I want to show them that it's not about having fancy clothes. Yeah. That's why I'm launching my fashion line. Um, the hip hop stuff, yeah. um, stuff that young ladies would want to go to the clubs in. It's referred to as Mrs. P. I can see by the look. Yes, you know, you know that sort of gangster stuff. stuff. Yeah. And then we have Madam P. And that's like your evening couture, your your young teenage girls, yeah. uh, matric dance look. Yeah. But we're all about community upliftment. We're all about building a better tomorrow. Okay. We're not about showing fancy stuff off. No, that's not us. Okay. All right. So it's just gone 24 minutes past six. This is Kai FM, the home of the Afropolitan. And we are talking to the Disky Divas. We're talking to two ladies in studio. We've got Wendy and we've got Nante as well. And I know there was a lot of fire in the studio. And um, Wendy, when you came in, you were quite upset as well. And I think you guys... No, I'm actually appalled. I'm disgraced at Nante's rude, arrogant attitude. She's got no business in politics. She just needs to sit down. But the thing is, like, when you guys walk in, the one thing that I can tell about the both of you is that you've got so much in common, you know, both... No, both nothing at all. I'm about upliftment, yes, not I'm destroying, yes. because people have less than me. That's true. But 
I think I'm just about to yeah. smack that yeah. ass. Okay. But, but hold on. But you both of you are, are married. Both of you are com in committed relationships. Both no, I'm married. married. Okay, yeah, but both of Nonte you. Nonte is a girlfriend. Yes, both of you. Is she engaged? Oh, hold Do on. you know? <laughs> maybe, maybe is she engaged? Okay. Hold on, Wendy. Wait, well, maybe you all can tell on. me maybe, something. Maybe let's just give. Yeah, let's give her a chance. I'm all ears because I just tear that hold, ass up. Hold on, hold on, Wendy. Hold on. I'm all about listening. We're not about fighting this evening. We're all about talking about the experience. Oh. No, we're not. We we have to talk about being a disc kid. Well, this is where the experience has led us. I, I know, I understand. And I understand that you're probably very upset and you've got a lot of things that you want to get off your chest. But I think it also would be fair maybe to give Nante a chance. No, I'm listening. I'm all yeah. ears. Because maybe you find that maybe... You, you know, know when you listen, you must look at somebody. Okay, Indeed, because so maybe there might so have been misrepresentation. Or no, there was no misrepresentation. Okay, let's, let's give her a chance. Let's um, give her a chance. Uh, to, um, let's uh, give her a time to shine. Dusky Diva, she's the only one that deserves to be on the show. Okay, hold on. Hold on, Wendy. Right. Just give her a chance. So, at this yeah. moment, Wendy will ask you just to be silent yeah. for a few moments. Mm. Nante, the same question I asked uh, to, to, to Wendy, I'm going to ask to you because yes. you... Even though you're not married, you still face the same challenges. Is it difficult being with a footballer, especially when there are lots of other girls involved? And number two, what do you say to uh, your man to counsel him, especially about saving for the future when it comes to money? I think um, I was fortunate that when I came to Andile's life, he had good role uh, role models in, in his life and that uh, especially his agent has been helping him with saving. Yes. I, I mean I came to his life and he had already had two properties that mm -hmm. he had invested in and that is uh, paid off already oh, and nice. he's very you know although he spends he spends like the, the he lives that uh, football lifestyle as I've you call it that or, 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 or you know show, yeah. you, you know that football lifestyle that he leads that is true they yes they do buy uh, this the, nice, these, clothes, uh, the nice clothes the 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 nice cars but he has saved a lot he's very frugal uh, when it comes to his money education uh, education plan for his son that is sorted out you know all the, the trust funds all that so I've been fortunate that he has been disciplined in that aspect and that um, what uh, young as he was because he is a breadwinner to his family our that was also another side to him that made me proud because he supports his family and um, he's he's very giving he's mm. very giving and and that side to him was uh, was what made me um, fall in love with him you know that side that people don't get to see you know they they see the the dominant uh, um, the aggressive midfielder, midfielder aggressive on the, on the midfielder yes. and I think uh, that persona is is then confused with his personality off the field okay. and, and people maybe, maybe I can dispute jump in that because uh, I like what you're saying about Ali Jali and yeah. uh, it's good to set the record straight because yeah. people don't really know these footballers yeah. we only see them on TV, on TV but correct. maybe before we go as we hit half past six and we go to the traffic yeah. you can just respond to some of the uh, uh, to uh, Wendy's comments um, do you feel like you're any less uh, justified because you're not married to Andile? Uh, it, it, is that an issue for you? It's not an issue at all because I don't um, look at people's opinions and make it my reality. I won't be forced into marriage because someone else thinks so I was at a forced certain into marriage. time I should be married. You know, so I will was, marry was Andile I when we decide no. to get married. So was I forced we into will, marriage? We will get no. married. Is this um, the same young lady that walked wait. up into the makeup artist's face and said, so Andile buys me so much clothes. Now she want to talk about Andile saving. She came up in my face in front of the makeup artist and he spends all his money on me on clothes. I got everything. Gucci bags for days. We <laughs> roll with <laughs> LV. You, know what, Wendy, you are disgrace to the human race. I, know, I feel sorry for this. Wendy. Cow. We're gonna, we're gonna go to traffic. Rather, because I'll beat somebody's ass up in here. I don't talk in direct hands, I talk face to face. I, I, I can know. handle my shit. I know, I know. Hold I'm on, all about that ghetto life. I can see that you've got a lot and of fire. Keep fighting. Hold on, hold on. Hold because on. I'm waiting. No, 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 I can't go away. You can call people trash. I won't. Exactly. Wendy, 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 what? You I called me what? Mining in Americana. Wait, Talk wait, now. Wait, Talk wait, now. Wait, Hold on, wait. No Hold on, wait. I don't hit people. I, I, hit. People. I don't hit people. I hit. So what? So what? She was pregnant when she called people names. You want to abuse Felicia. You want to abuse cats. They are my friends. Mama, forget. Step out of my way, Wendy. Oh, yeah. Or else what? 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 I will tear you up. Pregnant or not, I will tear you up. No, it's. I will.
will tear you up. I will tear you up. Wait. I will tear you up. Now it. Now it. Your daughter came for games. I came to tear it up. And nobody gonna call my friends names. Same Louis. Shit. That makes it into big. Same Gucci bags that make you think you're the shit. Same shit. I'll break it down. Can I for get you. my bag, please, so that I can leave you? You're still walking in my leave way. Leave me alone, Wendy. Mama. I'm gonna call I'll the police for you. I don't have Please call. People. I'm not call I'm pregnant. Them. Leave call me alone. them. Leave me call alone. Them. Leave yeah. me Thank alone. you, cats. One hot one. <laughs> Yes, I'm pregnant. You wanna do it? I'll come nine months. I'll wait nine months. Nine.